Harper, which one do you want? This one or that one? Which seat do this you want? This Yeah? Okay. Do you want a drink? Yeah, well, actually. All right. We all good, Harper? Yep. Okay. All right. Erin, over to you. No, not really. Obviously, um, there's been quite a few months in between the games. Uh, we, we knew these were, you know, big games for us. Obviously, always nice to be back in Australia. I don't think it will really sink in until we really start preparing uh, for the Olympics now. So, such a special occasion and so nice to be on home soil to celebrate with the rest of Australia because, you know, really they're, they're what's brought us here and the amount of support we've had in the last year has been absolutely incredible. Just wait, Joey. Face. Over to you. Speaking about celebrating with Australia, and obviously celebrating with some family here as well. What's it like getting to share today these moments with the family? Here? Yeah, it's been incredible. Obviously, um, the journey back for me has just been the best thing in the world. Um, having a crawling around. Um, <laughs> No, but having her by my side has just been the best thing ever. I think it, it's definitely reignited my football. She keeps everything um, happy for me. Obviously, going off the field to her um, is, is pretty special, no matter win, lose or draw. And, um, yeah, to have her here for these special occasions means the absolute world. And I'm pretty lucky to have my mum by my side as well. So, um, yeah, it's, it's been an incredible couple of months for sure. Joey. Uh, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations on this. I remember speaking to you after the World Cup that you talked about, you know, wanting to achieve things. And we heard from Steph yesterday talking about just how important it was for this group to get something real to mark the journey that they've been on. Just how much were you all zeroed in on that heading into these crucial games? Like, book the place to Tokyo, get that medal, get something that you can mark this journey that you've been on with. Yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously, we loved every minute of the World Cup, but we, we wanted to, to go home with a medal for sure. And I think that has really driven us to, to just keep on wanting more. I think uh, most of us have been together for, you know, 10 plus years and we've all always fallen a bit short. So we knew these um, games were massive for us to kind of uh, obviously qualify for the Olympics, but give us confidence going into to the next couple of games and then on to the Olympics, I think. Uh, for most of us, it's probably, you know, it could be our last major tournament. So I think, um, you know, to go out with a bang would be pretty amazing for all of us. Roy Ward. Can you even start getting it into your, into your, into your head that a last major tournament after all this excitement, after all this craziness in the past 18 months might actually be coming just a few months away? No, no I guess you, you never really... Uh, let yourself get too far ahead obviously for us uh, you know we were completely focused on um, the two games that, that we just played when you you know the travel and stuff was going to be pretty intense uh, for a lot of us and um, yeah now we can obviously look to the Olympics we've got a, quite a few games in between that and I think um, yeah we have we have a lot of depth in the squad now which is uh, I think amazing you know for, for Michelle to come back and score as many goals as she did I think Torpy you know also brought so much energy to this team I think um, you know we have the depth now and yeah I think it's going to be tough for the coaches to, to pick that final team but regardless of who's on the pitch I think we're, we're yeah we're ready we're confident um, I think the the World Cup will only, only drive us um, to get better and to hopefully get a medal. Anna? Um, many off the top of my head you obviously missed Tokyo and um, Brazil wouldn't have ended the way you wanted how big is Paris for you personally I know you flag it could even be the last hurrah for you as a tournament as an Olympics? Yeah for sure I um I was pretty heavily pregnant when they were in Tokyo and obviously gutted for the girls um, how, how that kind of ended as well. So, yeah, I think all these small things kind of just drive you and ignite something in you as an athlete. We always want to win um, and I think we've been together a long time now to kind of push to that next level. Uh, we can compete against the best. I think we've shown that in the World Cup in the last couple of kind of years. It doesn't matter who we play, we're always going to show up and, um, yeah, I think it's... Yeah, it, it'll be sad, obviously, um, being the last major tournament for some of us, but I think it could be a, a pretty special one too. So definitely looking forward to it. Um, Sam? Hopefully she's OK. She's there. good. <laughs> hearing thumping. Um, you mentioned Michelle there, Katrin. Like, you've got a long-standing relationship with Michelle and seeing her score four goals tonight, I mean, you must be thrilled for her. 
What does her inclusion and re-inclusion back into this team mean and what kind of problem do you think she solves for the Matildas? Yeah, I mean, I think she she brings something different. Um, I think she's, you know, the energy that she brings, um, not just on the field but off the field, is, is something pretty special. Not, not many players can, can bring that kind of into a camp and, uh, yeah, I've definitely missed her. It's been a long time since she's been by my side and I think it just feels like home having her back into camp. So I think she, she's really um, shown what she's capable of and I think she's shown that in the last couple of years. She's worked so hard to get back here and for her to now reap the rewards, I think it's you know kind of a perfect time. I'd love to play at another Olympic Games with her. So we'll both be working hard, try, try you know get, get ready for those selections and uh, hopefully we can continue to be back on the pitch together. Patty. You just talked about Michelle Heyman, you know, what she brings back into the squad, but someone who's just come into the squad is Caitlin Torpy, and she hasn't looked out of place. So, you know, we know all about her versatility, defence, midfield, forward. She can almost play anywhere on the pitch. I guess from a teammate perspective, what does being able to play with such a versatile player do to your game and, and what have you made of her game overall? Yeah, I think it's just incredible the amount of depth we now have. Up and sit down, sit down, please. Um, yeah, you know, I think, um, I mean, a lot of people have probably noticed the, the different formations we kind of swap in, in and out of in, in throughout the games. And I think, you know, the more versatile players we can have on the pitch, the more players we can kind of rotate around on the pitch without even talking, I think. Um, you know, I th you know we're, we're breaking down teams in all different ways now. I think, um, you know, we've got a lot of va variation. I think having players like Torpy to come in to, to play different roles is exactly what you need, especially leading into a big tournament, you know. Players get injured, players, um, you know, different things happen throughout tournaments and to have players that can play anywhere, I think, is, um, yeah, is pretty important. Joey? Uh, Renette, yesterday, Tony talked about the desire to see being more clinical, that better final ball, more clinical in front of goal, and I mean, <coughs> that nil mission accomplished. How, what do you think was the difference between tonight and the game in Tashkent when it came down to that? Yeah, I think we we had a lot of missed opportunities. I think in that game we're obviously in good position. Just uh, yeah, it didn't fall for us in that game, and we knew we had to change a few things uh, leading into this game. I think it's just always nice being in Australia. It's it's easy to put on a show, you know, getting the crowd behind you, singing that national anthem. There's nothing quite like it. And um, yeah, from the first minute, I felt like everyone was on, and um, you know, we were in the exact same positions, but. The difference today is we put them in the back of the net. So, um, yeah, we're definitely crucial in front of goal uh, today, and that's what we needed to do. Um, I think it, you know, getting that first goal, it kind of opens the floodgates in, in a situation like that. So, I think it, yeah, we played some good football today for sure. One final question. I oh, yeah, just on your move to West Ham, Katrina. Obviously, you've played, you know, all jumped into the team already <coughs> and uh, played very well. How have you sort of found that transition, you know, to the Super League, you know, maybe compared to the A League women, for example? I mean, I've loved it. Um, obviously, I've, I've been watching it for a long time. We've got so many players scattered across uh, the league now. And, um, it, yeah, it's just been absolutely amazing. I, I'm really glad I, I signed with West Ham. They've been incredible uh, support for, for me and my family. They've made the transition easy. And, um, yeah, I've just loved every minute of, of being on the pitch with them and excited to see kind of what the future holds with them. And, um, yeah, hopefully keep on building something good. Well, that was brilliant. Thank you so much. <laughs> Harper, you were amazing. Can you say thank you, everyone? Thank you. Safe travels, guys. And... Yeah, I want to take on to it. Lance, do you want to pop in here, hon? No, I don't want to. You don't want to. Okay, you can say bye-bye to me. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Harps. It's Lani's turn. <gasps> Come on. <laughs> yeah, you can have it. Come on, let's go. Bye, Harps. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> You're all good. Do you want that? Sorry, I'm not as cute as her. All right. <laughs> all right, um, microphone. Erin, um, do you want to leave us, lead us off? That's